Bourgeois is testing out his new drone. <laughs> you can buy a lot of paneling off the shelf, can't you? Yeah, you can. Um, unfortunately, it's never the one that we want to create. This is the first time we're creating paneling of this description. We're trying to work out the hearth for this chimney and we're going to use flat stones. <laughs> Bush's mom's coming over and she hasn't seen anything we've done in such a long time. <laughs> so I'm very excited because I just treated myself to a drone. It's one of those small ones, but it's supposed to have very good quality. So I am very excited to learn to use it. Bojo is testing out his new drone. <laughs> we should be tiling today. Um, it's just like 10 minutes. But just 10 minutes to he wants to play. Goes. So you never know, you may get some content from the drone. Maybe good, maybe bad. We will not know until he's... Ooh, fancy. So what's happened? I crashed it. I mean, I broke, I broke it. Um, we've only had it like two days. What yeah. happened? What have you broken? The camera broke. Is, do you think there'll be any replacement parts for it? Uh, at the end of the day, you know, I cannot... Like, you've I... also broken that, no? <gasps> oh my and gosh, that. Yes. And that, you've literally broke it to pieces. It has to have some sort of warranty. It, it was like, follow me automatically. It's supposed to kind of avoid, avoid these things. I'm gonna send an email. Okay. Fortunately, we were able to replace the drone and Borja is actually getting pretty good at flying it now. Our focus with the Dow House is to finish the cottage section first, which entails the two bedrooms upstairs and a bathroom, the snug downstairs, and the downstairs toilet and the boot room. If we've got time, we'll do the study. Yeah, that'll be a bonus. And that's all the cottage section. And then we've got the Georgian section, which will be where our main bedroom will be and the new kitchen sitting area. This is the last amount of gas that I've got in me. And I, I don't know about that. <laughs> My last bit of fuel is for the Dawa house to kind of this big push, then things are going to come down, or so we think. We're still gonna be working on the properties, but it's gonna be a bit more like at a more enjoyable pace. pace. So our original intention for the snug was to do a paneling out of like oak, which we could stain. We look at options as like, how much will it be to kind of have it installed? That was astronomical. Um, we didn't think that we were gonna have that level of skill yeah. to do all of that joints because we wanted to kind of really do it like the old fashioned way. So we were like, okay, come on, let's pair it back. Let's, let's do it our way. How can we do it? You can buy a lot of paneling off the shelf, can't you? Yeah, you can. Um, unfortunately, it's never the one that we want to create. But this is the first time we're creating paneling of this description. We approached it differently to how we did before. So we wanted to do no MDF here. We wanted to all do it with pine, albeit with a plywood backing, but we wanted to do it all with pine because we thought it, it'll last longer, it'll age better. You we wanted the grain. wood grain, yeah. yeah. The first layer of many, many layers to create this paneling was to apply a plywood sheeting across all of it. But we had to apply it in the perfect way that any joints in the plywood would be hidden within Upright. the paneling, within the uprights of the panels. As you know, we've got the beams in, that was the first layer. The plywood sheeting that we putting on, that's the second layer. 
third layer is add the, the lines and the horizontals and everything. You've oh. got to do the line plastering. We've just got a lot of layers yeah. to really finish this off and you're not gonna recognize the before and after. It's gonna be crazy. We've been working away in this room, trying to get it to a point where we can start adding the good bits to it. Borgia has been plastering the walls with his line plaster, buffing it up. Look at the curve on the, uh, the edges, which is really nice. We've added plywood to the walls because we're gonna be doing paneling. Now, the plywood is for the purpose of having a nice grain on it rather than it just being a plastered wall. And then these fixings will be hidden behind the paneling that we're doing here. So when Borgia has done his plastering, we'll get onto paneling, proper paneling. We've first got these timbers to put in all across the wall, and then we've got the detail that will go within it, which we actually still haven't sourced. But it's looking amazing. These sections here, we're gonna hide. We're gonna hide them within the paneling. We'll just have like a push click door or something that'll open. So we've got some storage behind. We've got to clean up the bricks and we've got to create a hearth here. And then when we've done the paneling, we are going to have to put an overlay underfloor heating down and then a lovely wooden floor. So a lot of layers to do. We're gonna be painting each layer so that when the Timber shrinks, could, um, you know, expands and contracts. We're not going to see sort of sections that we've missed painting. Yeah. Very exciting. So this is how Roger buffs it up with the tiniest sponge in the world. Yeah. <laughs> and then he does it across all of it. So. And then when you kind of like have sort of like sets, and I'll do it again, but like in much wider, and then you wouldn't see such a sponge strikes. Yeah, but it looks lovely. Very, like very rustic, you know? Well, there's a buy that we want. Exactly, it? yes. Lime plaster is comprised of sand, water and lime. It's a traditional way of plastering that takes longer than using gypsum, but we love the way it looks. So I'm painting inside our hidden cupboard. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create a panel door here, which you push click and um, it'll open and we'll have additional storage in here. I didn't like the look of them. I wanted to cover them over completely. We didn't need it. I didn't need the storage. But I did need the storage. I think like, you know, I'm becoming like my mother. Yes. What is like- That's the worry. Yeah. <laughs> if, <he's... laughs> if he's like, if there is storage, why, why not use it? I mean, I, did, I do go against what I usually say, which is exploit every little bit of space you have in the house. But I just, I'm not at this point where I'm like, yeah, exactly. That, let's just cover it over. It's much faster. It will save us at least three days. Yeah, but no. We're going to make these like secret doors that Dean is going to have to work out how to do it. We're never going to have like, these secret doors. Like, <laughs> honestly, we're going to get everything finished and them secret doors are still not going to be hung because I think they're going to be really hard to do. Yeah, but they will be worth it. First layer of about 40 <laughs> to go on this frame. Yeah, but it's already looking so much better. Mm -hmm. I love how Dean does something um, just temporary that you're not going to see, but look at the detail. It's like perfect. Dean's going to be hidden, but he just likes to know this one is nice underneath. Here we go again with Mr. with broken. Trousers? Everything's broken. I'm broken inside. <laughs> but we're <laughs> gonna put. I know you put with them. We're gonna put. Well, he is going to put a nice pendant light. These lights are handmade in England, and so it's going to look super nice. Opa nice. Oh,
so I'm making the secret door. Shh, <laughs> don't tell anybody. <laughs> we didn't really want to draw focus to them by putting doors on them, so yeah, hide them away in secret. Yeah, I, I, th and I think it's going to look really nice, and we're going to have that storage, which I know we, we, will, use, we will use it. Definitely. Yes. You, if you've got a cupboard, you're going to fill it. Yeah. That's just yeah. how it is. Exactly. So nice. I'm just making the panel first and then I'm screwing these in place, hoping I don't screw it all the time. Um, and then once I've made the door, I'm going to put the hinges on. But Paul didn't pick up the hinges today, so I'm going to have to go back on the edges. Don't touch the left because it's just leaves it a bit. So this is basically the next layer of the door frame. We are adding this panel detail, which you can see wraps around from the snug. And then because it's taller, we've created this square section here. And then within, within this, these panel details, we'll then put a nice quadrant detail. But for now, we're just focusing on getting all this finished and painted and looking lovely. I really like it, don't you? Like, yeah. I think it's, uh, it elevates it a little bit more, gives it a bit more depth. Obviously, we're going to have a door on here, but, but we're going to add, um, add another architrave onto this, another layer, and then probably another layer after that. So then the door will probably sit somewhere around here, but that's another stage. So I'm going to fill up, prime it all, and um, it's all going to blend in lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like it. Amazing. Borgia said I look like a homeless person today. These were actually my work trousers. <laughs> And I got, I used, I would get home from work and then work on, on the house and look at them. Now I love my job. It gets me away from the estate and I work on other people's projects and I design things that someone else has to build and do. But some clients I have, they are very stubborn in what they want to achieve. So all they want us to do is draw what they say, which is a little bit frustrating because when you're an architect, you want someone to come to you and go, I want this, design it, and you know. The fun part is trying to work out what their style is, what they like, just from, you know, like a 20 minute conversation, which I like doing. So today was like a not very fun day because all I was doing was drawing a very basic extension for a house that could have been so much better if they gave me the opportunity to show them but, but they weren't interested, which is a shame. It's like hit and miss, you know, we get 10% of them projects that are like that and then the others are really good and we have clients that are on the same wavelength as us, they know what they want to do, um, they trust us to put together some ideas that they may not have thought of. I think the really important thing in your appointing an architect is that they don't live in your house, they're an outsider, so you have got some insight into how you want to live and how the space works for you, but they also have some insight because they're an outsider and they can impart some knowledge into how spaces work well for other people. You're probably going to see a lot of recording of me talking in the car because this is literally the only time I have to think, to be able to talk, um, because it's non-stop as soon as I leave this car. You know that they say, like, a home is where the heart is. Yeah. It's actually, you know, it comes back from a home is where the hearth is, because in the hearth is where they cooked everything. So that's why it's like, basically, everyone will be around the fire. But then over time, it was like, it's where the heart, but it was the hearth. 
Okay, so during, we're trying to work out the hearth for this chimney, and we're going to use flax stones, which is going to look beautiful, very old, very thick. However, obviously they, they are really weird sizes, and Denise, I passed the to kind of please mark on the floor how it's going to look like, what's going to be the line, how much is going to come out, to see if we like it as a setup of the lines. Hopefully the hearth will go in today. So we can already marking out how much projection we want out. It has to look right, but at the same time we need to make sure there's enough space on the side. Absolutely freezing out here and we're cutting these huge flagstones. So big that we're only gonna need like four to do the fireplace. Spread them on sand because they're so heavy that, and traditionally, they would have been built on sand. Anyway, so. But then the, the joined mortar we will put it with lime. Yeah, and Let's get some sand in. to make sure this is like really well leveled because of the future log burner. Well, the, the log burner has little legs that you can adjust. Okay. To, not too bad. <laughs> and also, it can look vintage enough. Yeah. Porsche is now pointing up the flagstones. So excited to see it all finished. And hoping we got enough mortar because it's our last bag of the pallet that we ordered about two years ago. So, fingers crossed. So it's come the time to lime plaster the ceilings. Now, this is just aesthetically, uh, because I'm gonna put a very thin layer. I already did the test patch over there. Can you see up, up, right up there? That was just to kind of really see how it fed with this type of plasterboard, how it dried and if it stuck, it has, which is great. So yeah, it's just gonna have this kind of nice and aged. Feel. So this is what I'm going to do today. I'm giving myself a good solid 14 hour day <laughs> because it takes a long time, but I feel so much better once all the ceiling is done and the whole room feels a lot more cohesive. So I think I've been about 
eight hours working on the sitting and I've only managed to do half. Look at my hands, they're hurting a bit. So I think that although I was aiming to get the whole sitting done, I'm only gonna do this one and tomorrow I will work on the other section, but it's looking really good. It's looking really good. Can you tell the difference? How lovely. In comparison to that. Bush's mom's coming over and she hasn't seen anything we've done in such a long time, so... Hi, Leah. Hi, Leah. Tenis camera. Vemos de todo. So we occasionally get Borges' mom over from Spain and unfortunately for her, she knows that she's coming to do work. I do feel a bit guilty though, every time that she comes over. One of these days, we will not be doing work. She'll come over and we'll go like, you know, on a road trip or something. Yeah. But for now, she comes over and she helps us out. So I've got my mother. <laughs> She's all equipped. <laughs> and I've got her doing one of a horrible <laughs> job. Which is basically, she's gonna be using brick acid for the bricks inside. And then she's gonna get it all nice and clean for us. Um, yeah, so, thank you. This is the original brick. You can see some of the black. You can see that there was a lot of like sections here that it was at some point altered. We were thinking about redoing it all, putting new bricks, but I think we're going to give it a really good clean, well, my mum is, with brick acid, see how it comes up, and then we'll just take a view on it. So we're using a spray bottle, and this has got the brick acid, is the best way to be able to kind of put all around the bricks. We've got a bucket with water and, and sponges as we want to then remove all of that acid from the bricks and any kind of dust that it creates. Well, luckily we have got a very big fireplace that you can see inside. So she's gonna do a demonstration. She's, she's all equipped. A ver. He's putting the acid and you can see how he's just starting to get all the effervescence. Well, I don't know how the word is, effervescent. <laughs> it's horrible. <laughs> the smell, that's what she's wearing up. She's gonna be wearing a mask. <laughs> she's here for like a week, so I wouldn't spend time with my mum. But I have to as well, like, you know, supervising a little bit of like what she's doing, just because I get it, like she's super willing, but she's like I was 13 years ago when I was Gliving like- Living pictures of the wall, yeah. <laughs> exactly. She's never really done this, so like, you know, she needs to be well instructed on how to exactly do that. So mum's already done pretty much everything in, with a sponge and now we're gonna spray with a bit more acid and then she's, yeah, gonna be just basically brushing it and it should clean up the bricks much more. Once we've done all of these, we will do the same with water, just water, change the bucket several times and after we will use vinegar to neutralize it all. So this is break time. She's getting here. My mum is already saying that she's looking for people to hire her to do this. She loves this job. Not. <laughs> but it's looking really good. I've decided to go out on an adventure with my mum because she's been working a lot 
helping us and I found this beautiful oil painting online on Facebook Marketplace and I am out on an expedition in an area that I don't really know and we're gonna buy it. It's quite big so we, I'm hoping I can fit in the car and then we're gonna go out for lunch. Yes. So we just have been for lunch and look behind me is a very 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 pretty oil painting so i'm gonna go straight to the dawa house i think that dean is there and we're gonna see where we can put it ah! <sighs> what do you think of the picture i like the picture i just i'm not sure oh my gosh if we're covered you are so annoying i've been traveling two hours for the <laughs> for the picture i need lower it a bit. Like that, maybe. But then we'll literally see. Hold. Um, we don't we'll see any the we we'll, we'll see any paneling there. That's the only thing. Okay, so let's forget about this this beautiful picture. They took me two hours to drive to pick it up. No, no, no. We'll find another place. We've got you. we've got the landing upstairs. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's Apparently, nice. I love that these look like a a British gentleman. This looks like an Indian lady and a monk, and then and someone is working on, on the fields. Yeah, you've got quite the imagination now because it's literally just a black and yellow and blue smudge. No, they're people. And that's a deer, and that's a fish in the water. No, they only they are coming towards our estate <laughs> for holidays. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Bush is gonna kill me. I'm really hoping he can fix it. Watch. Um, no. Our family are really important to us. Even more so as we go through this restoration. I want to line these drawers 